Hey guys, it's Erica, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get rid of white mold from your plant. So make sure to like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe, I'll be posting more plant related videos. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I know that it's scary to look at your plants, look at their soil, and see a whole bunch of white mold. Because I remember the first time that it happened to me, I was freaking out. I was kind of like, okay, is this plant gonna die? What's happening right now? First thing that I want to say is that this white mold is pretty harmless to your plant actually. So you shouldn't be too worried about if your plant's gonna survive because it most likely will. I don't want to say 100% because then you're gonna come back here and be like, Erica, my plant died. You said it wouldn't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna it's most likely not gonna die. This white mold is actually feeding on the organic decaying matter inside of the soil that your plant is in. So, although the white mold is not harmful, it may indicate that there are some things that you need to change about your care for the plant in order for it to be healthier. To get rid of the white mold is actually very simple but I think it would be beneficial to kind of talk about why your plant has this white mold and how to prevent it from getting this white mold ever again. So there could be several different factors contributing to why your plant has mold. Um, most of them have to do with the wetness of your soil. If your soil is soggy, it is more likely to get this mold. There are things that you can change and be aware of to prevent this mold from happening. Some factors can be overwatering, not enough airflow, poor, poor drainage of the soil, and needing to have more sunlight, or just that you have contaminated soil. And these things are all easily fixable with a little tweak in how you care for your plant. First contributing factor could be overwatering your plant. If you are overwatering your plant, that soil is definitely going to be overly <laughs> moist, overly wet, and that could lead to this mold growing. So for overwatering, if you have a trouble with overwatering your plant, I would recommend to get a um, moisture meter. You can buy one on Amazon. I'll link one down below for you. They're very easy to use. Um, just water whenever your plant soil is dry because I know that sometimes when you use your finger, um, you can't really tell what your finger is telling you, so that's where I would recommend a moisture meter. Um, also, if you have a little log that you keep of how often you water your plants, you may find that you're watering your plant more often than you thought. If you do not have good airflow in wherever your plant is, which I'm pretty sure is a factor of this plant getting mold, um, it's going to be there's going to be more likely to be mold for not having enough airflow i can relate to this problem i keep my orchid in this room right here which has a humidifier that i constantly keep this room over 60 percent humidity and i often don't open the windows or turn on the fan so i've been making it more of a habit to open my windows at night and turn on the fan to keep the airflow going so that there's not just stale air sitting there encouraging mold to grow. Poor draining soil is also a factor. If your soil holds too much water, it is definitely going to stay soggy for a longer period of time than it maybe should be. You can just add more aerating um, components such as orchid bark, perlite, my personal favorite, um, pumice stone, that what it's called and all of this should help make your soil more airy and will let go of too much moisture also having your plant in a terracotta pot will help the soil not retain as much water because the terracotta pot is sucking the water out of the soil as well your plant also might need more sun so if it's not getting enough light, the soil will not be able to dry out and that can lead to soggier soil. And just having contaminated soil will give you 
will give you this mold. So if you are repotting your plant and it's contaminated and you use the soil again, it is probably going to get the white mold again. So make sure that you are storing your soils properly. Um, there's nothing getting into that. Like, you don't have it sitting outside open for anything to just enter into it. Have it stored <laughs> properly. Seal it up. Maybe use a chip chip bag clip for it so that nothing can get inside. Okay, well now that we've covered the factors that lead to the white mold forming, um, how we can maybe prevent this from happening, let's get into how to fix it. This is my plant with white mold. It is a jewel orchid and it is really beautiful, but we gotta get rid of this mold. The easiest way to get rid of this white mold is to just clear off the top area of the soil that's affected, sprinkle some cinnamon around it, a light coating of cinnamon because cinnamon will get rid of this, and just let your soil dry out. Follow the tips, don't let your soil be too soggy. For my orchid, I'm gonna increase the ventilation and the airflow in the room that I keep it in, and I will keep it kind of a little farther away from the humidifier than I have been keeping it. So as you can see, I removed any decaying matter from the plant. I removed any mold affected soil. And then I just did a light sprinkling of ground cinnamon on top of the soil. Um, if you can do a lighter sprinkling than the one that I did, that would be great, but I was a little bit heavy handed with it. Something else you can use that I haven't tried is some baking soda, but I prefer cinnamon. I feel like it's more natural. I don't know. I just feel more comfortable using cinnamon. I wouldn't recommend using apple cider vinegar or vinegar in general because I feel like that's too acidic for the plant roots and it might not even kill the bacteria. I have definitely not tried that, so I don't know. If it works for you, I guess it works for you, but... I just don't feel comfortable doing that. I don't even feel comfortable using baking soda. So. so we just clear out the soil, sprinkle some cinnamon, and voila, it's ready. But if the white mold comes back, you can just change the whole soil of the plant. And this is a definitely more tedious way to do it. You can do it this way. It's probably the most effective way as well there's less of a chance of the white mold coming back. So make sure that the new soil that you're using is not from the same contaminated bag if you were previously using contaminated soil. Um, the way that you can get rid of this in just a bag of soil is to open the bag, leave it out in the sun, and let it completely dry. Mix it up a little bit, and then the soil should be good to use again. If you're not comfortable with that, you can just throw the soil out into a spot in the garden where you think <laughs> needs more soil. That's what I would do because I don't like wasting soil. That should clear up all the uh, mold. But if you put your plant back into the old situation that it was in where it where you were overwatering it or it maybe didn't have soil that drained quickly enough, then the mold will probably come back so you need to attack the source of the problems and getting rid of the white mold is just like getting rid of a symptom. So there needs to be actual change in how you're taking care of your plant. Just keep that in mind. Okay you guys, I hope this video was helpful, helpful for you to get rid of your white mold in your plants. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't. I'm posting new plant videos all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!